Correct, correct people, how on our day, welcome back to Tessis TV. We don't carry another abroko con given about waiting the sub for palace. As the story where the richest right now from inside the palace of Oni is that Oni of if a wives lie down for Kabiese's chamber, they beg. That is Ronke and Miriam. As Kabiese once again is set to end everything that he has with both of them. Yes, this is coming after days of the uh, Ilefe elders telling Kabiesi that everything is in your hands. Yes, if you want to end this marriage, you fit end it. If you do not want to, you fit allow this marriage be going on and be it known to you that if this marriage continue, that when Naomi may not want to return back again. So, as they don't already tell Kabiesi everything finished, Kabiesi was deliberating on that stock. Kabiesi did not lie down and sleep like that. Kabiesi was so focused that he wants to bring Queen Naomi back to the palace. Yes, everybody that knows, knows Kabiesi will know that Kabiesi is making a very huge effort right now into bringing Mommy Tejene Kawo back. Though we heard that all his efforts are not fruitful yet. Due to Mommy Tejene Kawo said that when she entered palace before that waiting she see with her eyes, she no fit enter and come and stay with the Olobis again. Yes, let everybody respect themselves. It better make she stay for Akure than returning back to stay with the Olobis. Yes. So Kabi has been the thing say, what will he do now to make sure that Queen Naomi returns? Because it is a huge problem for him. He has been calculating, he has been thinking, he has been trying everything possible to see that Mommy Tedene Kawo returns. But it seems that he is going to end some marriages before Mommy Tedene Kawo will return back. And the reason why we heard Kabi has wanted to start with Miriam and Ronke is because Miriam and Ronke, as we heard, the senior Kabiesi, their marriage with Kabiesi is just like a contract marriage. You can't really say that they are in the palace for anything. They are not in there for anything. They are not in there to conceive and give birth. They are not in there to, to you know, bring other Oloris together. Rather, they have been running around, scattering things for Kabiesi, meeting uh, the Babalawos, bringing Juju, doing all sorts of bad, bad things to scatter Kabiesi's palace. And there has been message coming into the palace that these Odobis are going to dethrone Kabiesi. So Kabiesi don't really think, say, since Tobinaba is still uh, giving birth, she has uh, children for me, and she did now have a son. Elizabeth will soon give birth to her own children and Temi Tobe is a good person that it is better she send Miriam and go get out of the palace. That is what we heard Kabiesi is planning. But immediately Miriam and Ronke got the news. They ran to Kabiesi's chamber. They lie down for floor. They started begging. They were crying. Begging Kabiesi not to send them out of the palace. Yes. One thing with Miriam and Ronke is that they do not want to leave Kabiesi's palace. They want to continue answering Kabiesi's so wife. They want to be causing confusion and uh, commotion in the palace always. Because you can't really tell me one reason why these two Mamalawos no fit accommodate other honoris. Especially Mommy Tedinika, Una no say Kabiesi truly love Kinawomi. He is ready to sacrifice anything to have Queen Naomi. Why are you making your husband's life miserable? Why is it that you people don't want Queen Naomi to return? Because I believe, say, if you love somebody, you will be doing everything to please that person, to make that person happy. Yes? But in this case, it is otherwise, though. The other is them. They have been saying it with their mouths that they love Kabi AC. But they are not practicing it. They are not practicing it at all. Because as it don't be right now, it is clear for everybody. I said the two Mamalawos where Kabi is seeking for palace. They are just there to achieve their mission. 
maybe they are there to dethrone him because we have been hearing prophecies of dethronement on KBS's end. We don't know whether it is all or the wrong okay? is that is planning this dethronement on Miriam because why people are pointing finger at Ronke is because Ronke is from a royal family and it would be very easy for her. But Kabiesi has decided to take precautions. Yes, people at a point we are so angry that Kabiesi is so slow with this Olobis that Kabiesi Oba Adeyeye is not the king that they voted for, that he is misbehaving. The way he is doing things, the way he is acting is not what they wanted. But right now, we be like, say, Kabiesi is doing the mind of the people. Yes? Because all people wanted was for Ronke and Miriam to leave the only of Ife Palace. People start to question things that is going on. Say, how can Kabiesi marry Ronke? Well, don't reach 62 years. Going to 65. What did Ronke see? Well, I mean, what did Kabiesi see where Ronke did? Because it is so confusing. KBSC have money, so you won't really say that it is money that attracted uh, KBSC to run, okay? So what is, uh, special did KBSC saw where run, okay, is? Nothing. The same thing goes to Miriam. I am senior KBSC with few years. And people begin to question KBSC, say, why did you marry Miriam? Miriam can no longer have children. What is she doing in the palace? People are not happy, say, KBSA married uh, Ronke and Miriam at all, at all. Plenty of people are not happy. And they have been calling KBSA to divorce them. But KBSA, anytime you tell him about that, he will start, to, uh, you know, giving excuses. The last time we heard that KBSA said that he is no longer interested in his, uh, divorcing his wives, that they are unique in their different ways. And right now again, KBS will talk that thing, don't make you turn. Come and talk, say that he will divorce Ronke and Miriam, that they are going to leave the palace for Penawomi to return. Since he has found out that Miriam and Ronke are the major reason Mommy Tedenikawa is not yet back in the palace. That Queen Naomi has decided to leave because Miriam and Ronke doesn't want to leave. So Kabi Esibine Talk said that right now he is ready to chase Miriam and Ronke out for Mami Tedenekao to return because Kabi Esibine already said say this issue where he gets with Queen Naomi is very strong, not be like other issues. Where then they get any small thing, Queen Naomi go mellow down and they will start uh, their relationship. But this time we hear say Queen Naomi no agree saying go talk to Kabi Esibine or even return back. And for that, Kabi Esibine is taking decisions that will you know, make with Naomi to return by planning to send the two Mamalawas out of the palace. And we heard that they are begging Kabiesi right now in his chamber that he should not uh, send them out. I bet my correct people make an actual achievement for this matter. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, stay tuned, stay connected. For more updates, we'll be dropping from time to time about waiting this up for